Okay, so today I am going to do the clutter challenge that Cass has put out for the 12 weeks of cleaning your house, hugging your home. And the first challenge that she has for week one is the master bedroom. And there's five things that we're supposed to do. There's still time today you can knock it out and uh, get those five things done so that you can get a hold of your master bedroom or your master area. So I hope that you will take the time to watch this video and hopefully you can learn a few things. I'll post a little picture. It won't be all the way, but post a picture and you can find her on Facebook. You can find her on, um, on just the internet. You can find her on YouTube and you can find out all about that challenge. She has free printables and everything to make it so easy for you. So I hope that if you want, you can try that challenge. Okay, so there's a lot in my room that I need to declutter. There's a lot of areas I need to work on, and if I do that, um, hug your home challenge. So she just says to do these five things, you know, to purge 15 items from your closet, purge 10 items from your dresser, um, to declutter the side tables and the top of your dresser and the top of the side tables, um, then to clear out under your bed and to pick up 10 random things in your bedroom. So. And get rid of them. <laughs> That's what I did. Just doing those five things that Cass says to do in the hug your home challenge, I'm gonna do. But there's a lot of other areas that are really a mess in my room. The bad thing is I did the before picture and it all erased for some reason. I put them on my, you know, movie maker and then I erased them off my phone because I'm running out of room and it erased them off the videos. So I'm really sorry. You missed out on that because it was really messy. But you could tell by the other pictures I have in my room, you know, right down there. That if you just look at this stuff, you'll get an idea of what my nightstand looked like. I mean, I had those books on it. I had all kinds of papers. These are just uh, things like my church bags dumped out because we used it on vacation. And I have all this stuff to put away. You know, you already saw the stuff over there. So I'm not saying that my room was clean, but those dressers and stuff were a mess and I lost the pictures the before picture stuff for it so it's kind of a bummer especially because even though the whole room is a disaster at least there's areas that aren't and there are a couple things I got get rid of over there so there we it go it's a mess and you have to believe it and I just cleared it and got rid of a lot of stuff and dusted it and it just turned out a lot better than I thought it was a lot faster than I thought so I'm really excited about that because you know if you can do challenges that are just quick and easy that's fabulous right so I hope that you'll enjoy these. It didn't even take as long as I thought it would. It only took like three minutes. I didn't get everything put exactly where it goes, but pretty close. And uh, I'll probably end up putting my notepads back on just because I use them regularly. And I usually have a book on the side, but today I won't leave it there. So hopefully that's not too cluttery. I wish I had a lamp. I'm hoping to put a pair of lamps, one on my side and my husband's side, but for now, this is what I've got to deal with. And I definitely feel like this was an improvement from here. I took all the excess stuff and just kind of built around what I needed. I need to find somewhere else for that salt lamp. I have a few of those. But I actually like that. What do you think? That's similar to what I had before. I just added that salt lamp behind the picture in the middle. So, but that works. So I started by taking everything but the mirror off. I did a quick dust with a couple of wipes and I went, I dusted the mirror as well. And now I'll figure out what actually needs to go up here and what doesn't. Hopefully it looks good when I'm done. I don't really know the rules of balance and stuff, but with the king and queen pictures there, I like that king symbol on top of the books. And I like the globe because it kind of balances out the stuff on the other side. I might need to move it out a little more. I don't know. Maybe you could think of something that'd be better and you could give me a suggestion for sure. But for now, I think that's better than the mess that it was before. What do you think? <laughs> I really like the Eiffel Tower. I think it balances the area out better and I think it just looks better overall. So hopefully that balances it out properly. And I don't know, what do you think? Let me know. I'm so excited though, because I'm almost done. Who could believe it? The surfaces are cleared. That's what we're going for. And now I've just got the clothes of the closet and the 10 random things and then I'm done. Okay, so I did it. I went through it all and I found uh, 10 things in my room random to get rid of. I skipped the 15 in the closet because I recently got rid of at least 15 things in my closet that I no longer need or want or will wear. 
And I just used that mindset that if I was gonna buy this in the store, would I buy it? And there was no way, and I found at least 15 things I got rid of that, I've, that I'm not gonna wear while I'm pregnant, I'm not gonna wear it after I'm pregnant, I'm never gonna wear again, so I let those go. But now I'll show you the stuff behind me that actually is gonna work. So when I was clearing out of the room, I was looking around and this candlestick, although I'm not getting rid of it per se, I am taking it downstairs to be used on the table, along with this small vase, because those are handy when I'm decorating in the kitchen, simple things. Um, this candle's in my room because my daughter left it, but I'm gonna see if my other daughter wants it. If not, I'll just let go of it. It's a Yankee candle with the honey lavender gelato smell, but I'm not really fond of it, so I'm gonna let that go. Then I have this little uh, pad charger. I got rid of the pads that were in here, the little kid things, because uh, we just didn't end up needing those after a year of using them. I am getting rid of this salt lamp. I'm gonna take it back to Walmart because it doesn't work. Um, and I didn't realize it wasn't the real deal, so I'll get rid of that. And then I have these three decluttering books. It's uh, Clear Your Clutter with Feng Shui. I'm letting that go. If you want it, let me know quick. Um, I've got this uh, Clear Your Clutter with Feng Shui. Uh, different, about the same author, just a little bit different. So um, one was Free Yourself from Physical, Mental, and Emotional, and Spiritual Clutter. This one's um, same book, I guess. So I have two of those. So if you want one, let me know. Um, creating sacred space with um, Feng Shui, same, later, same lady, from the art of space clearing and bringing new energy into your life. So if you want one of those three books, come and get, you know, just let me know and I'll let you have those. I also figure this, I'm going to count letting go of this Victoria's Secret bag because I had a Christmas present in it and I kept thinking, oh, should I save it and use it for this, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go ahead and let that go and just put all these things that I'm donating in this bag and get rid of it. And I'm letting go of this yoga mat. Because even though I love the color of it, I don't use it much. I, it's a thin pad. It's, to me, worthless. So I'm going to order a bigger one eventually. But I don't really need a mat for now. So there's my 10 things. And I'm really proud of myself. Aren't you? Hey, would you believe it? I did it. I actually did it. There's no joke. I also decided to find 10 random pieces of trash. Found a little more than that and just filled up the trash can more. Even had to get a second bag. So there you go. But some of the stuff that you didn't see... No, it was just on the floor, so I got rid of that. So that's it for the Hug Your Home this week. It literally didn't even take me an hour, so that's the part that it gets me really excited. So if you just do those five things in the bedroom, that it's going to make that big of a difference. Now I'm going to just sit down and take a break, break, catch my breath. That's what I was trying to say, catch a breath. Um, but, you know, if you just do those things, we're going to do this for 12 weeks. I'll just post my video whenever I um, finish the challenge for the week. And I'll just post this little video so that you could see that really it doesn't take that much time and it did make a difference. Although the bottom, the floor area kind of is frustrating for me, it still feels so much better having those surfaces cleared. Oh, and side note, I did not do my husband's side because I want him to get used to doing that for himself. So I will walk him through it and make sure that he's on board with it and go from there. So. Um, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, give it a thumbs up and then be sure to challenge yourself and just see if you could do that for five weeks. I mean, for the 12 weeks, the five things each week. So this week was your master bedroom and let's get it in order. Okay. Take care.